if you have any questions you can please do ask me so uh, now i'll be starting with the cases so coming to case 1 okay a uh, patient a uh, uh, 11 year old child has come to a clinic okay with a complaints of eye strain watering on near ward blurring of distance vision after 15 minutes of near ward okay so i uh, what do you think what may be the problem for the patient yes what may be the problem for the patient what do you think so the patient is complaining of eye strain watering on near ward blurring of distance vision after 15 minutes of near ward okay so these are the complaints a 11 year old child has come to your clinic so let's come to the any uh, can you all follow yes can you all follow right okay so the patient has come like that so if you are checking the distance vision you have found out that uh, 6 6 6 minus 2 that is the distance vision for right eye and left eye for the patient okay now uh, retinoscopy you are finding what are the findings in retinoscopy are minus 0.25 diopter okay in right eye left eye it is a plus minus i mean spherical there is no spherical component and a cylindrical component of minus 2.25 diopter at 90 degree okay so with that the patient is reading 66 six. so the patient was having a 6 by 6 minus 2 okay the patient main complaint was blurring of vision on near ward watering of eyes uh, blurring of distance vision after 15 minutes of near ward eye strain that was a patient's complaint so the patient came with his mother so the mother is uh, has told the complaints okay now uh when we have started to check so when we have started to check the uh near point of convergence we have found it 25 cm 25 cm so what should be the normal near point of convergence for a normal well, for a normal person what should be our near point of convergence yes <clears throat> Six to seven centimeter. Correct. Six to seven centimeter should be the normal near point of convergence for a person, right? So for this child, we found out the near point of convergence is twenty-five centimeter. Okay. Now we are uh, doing the cover test. Okay. In the cover test, what we have found for distance, it is ortho. There is completely orthophoria for distance. For near, it is ten prism base in. Ten prism base in means a ten prism exophoria is there for the cover test at near. Okay, so how can we do this and measure the amount of uh, cover test at near? We can do it with the uh, prism bar cover test, right? We can measure it, the amount of uh, foria for near and distance, right? So for near we have got a ten prism exophoria. Okay, for distance it is ortho. base in now we are going doing the stave vergence test okay stave vergence test the base in value we are getting at distance it is x that is uh, like uh, no blur at distance break at 9 and recovery at 4 okay near it is 12 22 and 10 okay so the blur is at uh, 12 prism break is at 22 and recovery at 10 okay base out for distance base out for distance it is 10 18 10 near it is 4 6 and 1 okay so the uh, base in and base out values are like this now when we check this ac by a ratio it is 2 is to 1 only it is a 2 is to 1 ac by a ratio so what do you think about the uh like base in and base out values over here what do you think like is it normal is it normal what do you think yes <clears throat> no ma'am yes there is definitely abnormalities you can find it out it is much lower than the normal 
okay for what is the normative values the child should have it is lesser than normal okay now when we check the virgin's facility with the virgin's flipper so what is the virgin's flipper it is having uh, three prism base in and 12 prism base out so it is only three cycles per minute so the patient can complete only three cycles in a minute okay so now we checked his nra that is the negative relative accommodation that is coming to plus 1.5 diopters okay and the pra is minus 2.5 diopter so pra value is quite normal you can see you can see the nra is very very low the nra value normal nra value should be around plus 2.5 diopter now we check this accommodation we can see uh it's 13 diopters in the right eye 13 diopters in the left eye so what should be the normative uh, like normal accommodation for the child uh what should be the normal amplitude of accommodation for the child if we come by the hofstetter's formula it is 18.5 minus 0.3 into age so the child's age is 11 years 0.3 into 11 that is coming to 3.3 okay so 18.5 minus 3.3 what will be uh it is somewhere around uh uh, it is somewhere around 15 diopters, right? So the 15 diopters should be the normal uh, amplitude of accommodation for the patient. So it is 13 diopters we have find out in the right eye and 13 diopters we have find out in the, found out in the left eye, okay? Now coming to the next, accommodative flippers, the patient cannot clear the plus or minus less. We have tried with them. See, the NRA value was, plus 1.5 diopters we have found out so what what flippers we have used we have used uh, we should take a plus minus one flipper okay we have taken a plus minus one flipper and the patient completely fails the accommodative facility testing the patient completely fails the accommodative facility testing the right eye also we have got zero the left eye also we have got zero both eyes also we have, when we have checked the patient could not clear the plus lenses okay uh, see the nra is plus 1.5 pra is minus 2.5 so where should be the patient's problem the patient will have difficulty in clearing the plus lenses the patient should have difficulty in clearing the plus lenses so the patient could not clear the plus lenses so completely failed the accommodative facility testing okay MEM value, MEM is the dynamic retinoscopy value. When we did a dynamic retinoscopy, uh, so what what were what did we get? We get, got a, a plus minus, that is a plano. Okay, so normally we should get a lag of accommodation. Normally we should uh, get a lag of accommodation of about point plus 0.5 to plus 0.75 diopter, right? So okay. instead of that, we have got a lead of accommodation. Okay we have got a lead of accommodation. So that is zero we have got, okay? So anything lesser than plus 0 0.50, it is a lead of accommodation, okay? Anything greater than plus 0.75 is a higher lag of accommodation. So what uh, may be the diagnosis and management? Yes, can anyone try? Yes, can anyone try this case? It is a conversion in sufficiency case. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It's also a uh, patient has a uh, accommodation facility problems. Correct. Yeah, facility is also there. Mm -hmm. Facility, you can see that it is completely zero. Okay. Uh, there is a yeah. lead of accommodation, what you have seen here. There is a lead of accommodation in MEM retinoscopy. We have got a lead of accommodation. If you could remember that the patient's uh, refractive error was uh, like unneeded vision, with what we have got is plano 6 by 6 minus 2 with minus 0.25 and 0.25 cylinders, it is 6, 6, right? So there is no refractive error as such, what we have got, okay? But here we are getting a lead of accommodation. You can see in the MEM retinoscopy, there is a lead of accommodation, okay? And what else? what else but the amplitude of accommodation that should be around 15 diopter for the patient 
so it is 13 diopter both eyes okay uh, so yes it is 13 diopter both eyes pra value is normal you can see the base in for distance it is less and the base out for near it is less you can see this and uh, you can see also see the ac by ratio to be also less okay so what may be the case ma'am it uh, may be accommodation insufficiency ma'am accommodation uh, convergence excess no no sorry ma'am accommodation excess accommodative excess yes not a accommodative insufficiency okay how can it be an accommodative insufficiency we are getting a lead of accommodation right we can we are getting a lead of accommodation over here so you can see so let me just go through the case from the beginning once okay so retinoscopic quite normal cyclo or refraction we have got a plus 0.566 okay npc is receded it is 25 cm okay the npc is receded uh and it's a 25 cm there is in near we are getting a 10 prism exophoria okay distance it is normal 10 prism exophoria now you can see the ac by a ratio it is 2 is to 1 it is 2 is to 1 that means it is a kind of insufficiency case only because insufficiency means in all insufficiency cases what we are getting what we are getting we are getting a lesser amount of like ac by a ratio now excess cases we are getting a greater ac by a ratio okay you can see the npc is very much very very receded okay so most probably this a case of a convergence insufficiency if you see the convergence it is very much receded <coughs> also we see the vergence facility that is 3 uh 3 cpm 3 cycles per minute okay that is 3 cycles per minute and uh nr is plus 1.5 and pr is minus 2.5 okay amplitude of accommodation is quite okay you can see that and accommodative flippers it is completely failing okay so this is a uh, an mem value what we have found out is that a lead of accommodation is there so basically this is a case of convergence insufficiency along with along with what along with what yes please mute yourself please mute. whoever is talking whoever is talking please mute yourself yes definitely it is a case of ci convergence insufficiency why because the convergence is 25 that npc is 25 cm okay along with ci the patient is also having something cyclo you are getting a plus 0.5 okay so we cannot uh, say completely it is an accommodative excess is it completely accommodative excess can we see if we see the npa value near point of accommodation that the aoa it should be written actually so the a amplitude of accommodation is 13 diopters okay amplitude of accommodation is 13 diopters nr is receded accommodative in facilities there you can see the patient cannot clear the the patient cannot clear the accommodative flippers okay so there is definitely a presence of convergence insufficiency also the there is higher there is a lead of accommodation so uh, but the there is a lead of accommodation but you can see what the amplitude of accommodation is 13 13 diopters so the patient should have an 15 diopters so it is 13 diopters so it is a case of basically a convergence insufficiency with accommodative infacility do you agree with that definitely there is an excess of accommodation if you see because in mem value in mem value also we are getting a lead of accommodation okay and uh, if you can see the patient cannot relax accommodation why because the nra value is only only plus 1.5 diopters okay so I mean, what mode of this is a very low yes which one 
yes which one is very low actually chaya is asking your voice is coming very low i think chaya uh, you have a network issue ma'am uh, voice is a bit, uh, light clear okay maybe you can have a network issue okay so uh, yeah, yeah. okay so the patient accommodation is uh, is on a higher note okay convergence is very less so it may be a case of convergence insufficiency with accommodative infacility because the patient cannot clear the flippers also the patient is having some sort of excess of accommodation so what should be the management for the patient what should be the management for the patient we need to treat the convergence part first we should treat the convergence insufficiency part first then we should move to treat the we should move to treat the and or relax the accommodation right so convergence insufficiency how can it be treated see the patient we have got a cyclo refraction about plus 0.5 okay so plano almost you can see plano 66 the 0.25 normally we do not give to a patient okay so cyclo refraction we have got a plus 0.5 do you think we need to give a glass for this child do you think no, you need to give? no so, why not, because uh, we can do a brock yes. stream uh, exercises correct correct we'll give a brock stream exercises why because if you if you are giving the cyclo no the plus 0.5 plus 0.5 you can see here in a, there is a near there is a 10 prism exophoria the exophoria will increase so we'll not give the uh, refractive correction to the child what we'll start with we'll start with the brock stream exercise first we need to treat this npc the near point of convergence is too much receded so we need to treat this part first okay so brock stream exercise we need to see we need to give and also we need to give the uh, along with the brock stream exercise the patient should practice it for 15 20 minutes in a day every day the patient should do it and then we will start with the heart chart exercise because if you can see the previous complaint the patient was having watering on near work that is probably due to the convergence insufficiency blurring of distance vision after 15 minutes of near work that means the patient cannot you know the facility problem there is a uh, accommodative facility problem is there so he cannot focus for distance and near simultaneously once i can like normally what happens when i'm uh, working so i can focus at distance also immediately if a near target comes i can take one or two seconds i can focus on the near target but the patient's main problem lies over here the patient's main problem lies over here so first we need to take, treat the convergence insufficiency and also we need to treat the accommodative facility part so we'll give the brock sting exercise see how the patient is improving see how the patient is improving right and then we should give the heart chart exercise for accommodate accommodation for improving the accommodation because the patient is having blurring of distance vision after 15 minutes of near work so he will struggle a little bit with the heart chart exercise and then if the accommodation if he is doing well then we'll give the accommodative flippers exercise because if you see his facility was zero his accommodative facility was completely zero okay with the right eye left eye and also both monocularly and binocularly his facility was zero so we'll see how the patient improves see if the patient for the brock stream exercise if the npc is 25 cm no he will struggle even focusing at the middle bead right so slowly slowly will we have to improve his convergence when his convergence will improve his accommodation will also improve and now when he is doing the brock stream exercise well then we will give the heart chart exercise to the patient and see how he is performing and if he performs well the heart chart exercise then we'll start with the accommodative flippers exercise is it clear to all of you any questions please to ask me see we'll go slowly we'll not rush we'll not rush with the cases because uh, these cases are very important to understand okay 
first we need to diagnose the case properly and also we have to think about the management of the cases right so we will uh, go a little slowly so any questions please to ask me any questions anyone okay so otherwise i'll move to the next case okay any questions from anyone right so moving to the next case a 19 year old girl has come to a clinic okay with a complaint of headache eye strain blurred vision after 10 minutes of reading and he feels uh, like uh, he she finds difficulty for night driving okay so headache eye strain blurred vision after 10 minutes of reading so 19 year old girl normally he will she will study so she is having blurred vision after 10 minutes of reading that means she cannot she cannot sustain uh, like she can see the uh, clear things at near but she cannot sustain it for longer she is having headache and eye strain okay and there is difficulty in night driving so let's come to the findings uncorrected vision right eye six six with effort left eye six six with effort okay uh flash uh, the retinoscopy value what we are getting it is a plus 1.75 please do see that plus 1.75 in right eye plus 1.75 in the left eye and the patient is reading 6 by 6 so what do you find here the patient is having a latent hypermetropy you can see that yes the patient can read 6 6 with effort and she is accepting plus 175 to read 66 so definitely there is a latent hyperopia over here yes can you all follow yes ma'am okay yes so coming to the next one npc is again 25 cm it has been receded okay now coming to the cover test unaided that is without the glasses what we are getting distance we are getting a two pri two prism base out and near six basin six basin prism okay that means distance there is a two prism esophoria and for near there is a six prism exophoria it is a very difficult case you can find out okay distance there is esophoria two prism esophoria near there is six prism exophoria it is a very difficult case to manage now the nfv pfv coming to that basin for distance this uh, x for there is no blur break is at 8 then recovery at 4 okay near it is 12 19 11 base out for distance x 16 11 near it is 4 8 and 2 again the ac by a ratio is also lower okay again if you see the vergence facility is zero cycles per minute okay uh, the vergence facility that is zero cycles per minute okay Uh, nra it is plus 2.5 pra it is minus 2.5 that is absolutely normal values nra pra there is no complaints there is absolutely normal okay so here lies the difficult two prism base out for distance two prism esophoria for distance near it is six prisms exophoria for near okay and vergence facility is zero ac by ratio is also 2 is to 1 npc is receded to 25 cm now coming to amplitude of accommodation it is 12 diopters left eye also it is 12 diopters what should be the normal amplitude of accommodation for the patient normal amplitude of accommodation 19 year old 19 year old uh, 18.5 uh, minus 0.3 into h so 0.3 into 19.5 wait uh, sorry 0.3 into 19 it is coming to 5.7 so that means 18.5 minus 5.7 it is 12.8 diopter accommodation the patient should have here you can find he she is having 12 diopter of accommodation for right eye left eye both so that is uh, uh, you can see it is quite normal okay now coming to the monocular accommodative facility maf means the monocular accommodative facility it is odnos <coughs> that is 9 cycles per minute see now uh, see this one uh, nra pr is plus 
plus 2.5 is the nri pr is minus 2.5 so we can choose a flipper of plus minus 1.5 either or plus minus 2 flipper okay so with a plus minus 1.5 flipper what we have got monocular accommodative facility both eyes it is 9 cycles per minute but you can see this the binocular accommodative facility is 2 cycles per minute it is 2 cycles per minute okay so two cycles per minute uh, the binocular accommodative facility and the patient is slow with plus okay so when you keep the plus 1.5 the patient is finding difficult to clear okay now coming to the mem retinoscopy it is plus point plus point two five diopters that means there is a lead of accommodation definitely there is a, a 0.25 diopter lead of accommodation so what may be the diagnosis and management any questions uh, any uh, any sorry suggestions or what may be the diagnosis and management for the patient yes please do try Uh, Ma'am, I think if patient has a uh, latent hypermetropic, then right. uh, maybe patient, uh, then maybe ma'am, uh, patient was using mm -hmm. using high accommodation. Correct. That's why. Uh, and also, patient has, I think, ma'am, uh, a virgin's problem. Correct. If you see here, the near. Uh, there is a six prism base in six prism exophoria is there. Distance it is exophoria. Okay. NPC is receded too much. You can see uh, 25 centimeters is a NPC, right? So definitely we need to give the patient correction. So you can see plus 175, 66, the patient is reading. So definitely the patient's uh, uh, Accommodation is also like excess, a little bit of excess accommodation is also there. You can see the uh, lead of accommodation. Okay. And definitely there is a virgins problem, right? Because the virgins facility is also zero. Okay. So we can see, we can give the refractive uh, correction for the patient. What should be the management? Uh, what may be the management for the patient? So, yes. Definitely it is a yes. No, I have just one query. In this case, is there any necessity to do a cyclorefraction? Yes, definitely we can do a cyclorefraction and see. Okay, but here we have got a flash and acceptance. It is around plus 175. We can just see and uh, like we will not prescribe the full cyclo value, but we can do a cyclorefraction. Okay, but uh, here you can see plus 175.66. The patient is reading comfortably. The patient is reading 6 6. Okay. So, first we need to give the glasses to the patient. But what will be the problem with the glasses? See, distance esophoria will be completely corrected. 175 plus 175, if you are pushing, so plus 1 diopter will correct. 2 is to 1 is the AC by ratio. So, plus 1 diopter will correct 2 prism of esophoria. So, plus 175 diopter means it is around uh, like four prism esophoria will be corrected. So distance esophoria is getting corrected. Okay. So we have to decide on whether to prescribe a plus 175 or a plus 1.5. That also we need to see. Okay. Distance esophoria is getting corrected, but a near it is having a exophoria. So that is the main problem. So that will be the main problem. So as if apparently if you see do the cover test, Unaided, we have got a two prism esophoria. That means the patient may have a divergence insufficiency. You can see, okay, at distance there is esophoria, higher esophoria. Okay, but at the same time, at the same time, the patient is having convergence insufficiency, convergence problem. The NPC is 25 centimeter. So, yes, we can prescribe glasses definitely, but not full 175 we are giving. It will be difficult. So maybe we can give a plus one or a plus 125 and see with the patient is uh, can re, uh, feel some comfort, like feel 
comfortable or not because the distance is a fourier will be corrected but near she will be having problem so if you are giving glasses to the patient you need to treat for the convergence insufficiency also okay it will be actually difficult for the patient with a plus 1.50 glasses for right eye and left eye right definitely the convergence uh, there will be convergence demand will be more with that fine so what we need to do we have to train the convergence we can give the glasses i feel that we can give the glasses a plus 125 for distance okay plus 125 or a plus 1.5 for both eyes okay but at the same time we have to treat her convergence what is your opinion because you can see the um, nps is very much receded yes tell me uh, ma'am uh, i thought uh, this is a case of fusional version dysfunction because there is a version mm -hmm. facility is also uh, mm -hmm. uh, lesser mm -hmm. and the icy wire issue is also lesser Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the yes. uh, base in and base out uh, is also um, at the distance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. near me. But see, hai. NRA PR is quite normal. In a fusional vergence dysfunction, both the accommodation parameters will be lesser and the convergence parameters will be also lesser. NRA PR will also be lesser. Okay, so we cannot uh, fully tell it is a fusional dysfunction. फोरिया Yeah, uh, we have to do uh, uh, the uh, prescription is also there, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, we have to do um, uh, work on the uh, vision facilities. Correct, correct, correct. We have to work on the vision facilities. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what uh, we can start with, we can give the glasses to the patient. We can start with the very basic exercise of Brock string. Okay. Along with the Brock string, yes. When doing the Brock string, her NPC will definitely improve. Okay, along with the Brock string, if we can give her the Trana glyphs exercise, that will be also better, right? Because the Trana glyphs uh, will treat the both the central, like it will uh, work on the peripheral fusion as well as with the central fusion. So we can like both will be uh, correct, both will be uh, like taken care of. That is the thing. Also, you can see the BA, that is a binocular accommodative facility, is two CPM. But the monocular accommodative facility is quite okay. So our accommodation is basically normal. But the binocular accommodative facility is lesser means definitely there is a vargence problem. Definitely there is a vargence yeah. problem. So definitely what we can do, we can relax like we can give the proper refractive correction. A plus one point five diopter. What we have got in plus a plus one seventy five. Okay. So plus one point five when we are giving. Her distance esophoria will be taken care of, but near there will be more esophoria. Exophoria will be more because one is two is to one is the ratio. So plus one point five means it will increase around uh, two uh, plus uh, like three point five. So around nine point five or so ten prism exophoria the patient will be having after glass wearing the glasses. Right now we have to treat the NPC part. So start with the Brock string. See how the patient is doing. Okay, uh, one week, two weeks, the Brock string exercise. Then we can move to the Trana glyphs exercise and work on the Vargens facility. Is it clear to all of you? Any, any more, any more suggestions? Yes. Any more suggestions? Ma'am, I have okay. one query. Yes. Please. Uh, ma'am, what we are doing for the near? If patient has a exophoria, six prism exophoria, mm -hmm. then we should do anything for the exophoria or not? Yes, we need to treat that exophoria. Now we need to improve the phoria status. How to do that? We can do the like we can give the broxing exercises. It will treat the phoria also. Now, if we if we can improve the NPC, it will treat the phoria. Near phoria, near exophoria, definitely will treat. Will get be treated. It's like basically we need to improve the 
like uh, the fusional positive fusional versions we need to improve that's the thing okay okay ma'am thank you so uh, so today up to this uh, so two cases we have discussed next class again we'll discuss the other cases uh, so any queries please to ask me so definitely i feel like the broxing will improve the npc also the tranaglyphs exercise will also improve the positive fusional versions basically we need to work on the positive fusional versions that will only solve the case